friends, from the heart of Rafia here, I'm just telling you that I think we're living in a time of miracles. Uh, seriously, how is it that this hypersonic missile, like the ones North Korea uses, you know, it traveled over 2,000 kilometers in 11.5 minutes or something? That's amazing. Uh, but it was trying to destroy Tel Aviv. It was trying to murder so many innocent people just because they're Jewish. Um, but it just fell apart in the air. Are we living in a time of miracles? Is that a miracle? Uh, it, it, and it mostly crashed in the Ben Shemin forest area. Of course, a piece, it seemed to have just fallen apart in the air after traveling 2,000 kilometers from Yemen, from the Houthi terrorists, and then a piece of it hit the, um, the um, Modi'in train station, which, uh, and that did some damage. Police showed up, everyone was so scared, everyone was in bomb shelters. Um, but it, I'll just tell you what, the good guys will win. Look, look what happened over at the golf club, International Golf Club, you know, and there you have this, uh, the former president, Donald Trump, who's, you know, the elections are coming up real soon, and a gun barrel sticks out of the International Golf Club. How is this possible? You know, and um, so I'm telling you what, uh, they, we, we have to be on our toes, we have to be alert, um, because it, things are happening, and uh, here we are winning. It's so sad when these ramming attacks happen, and it's so sad that Israel has to go through this. And nations around the world and the free world should take notice of what Israel has to suffer through and learn from Israel. Yeah, maybe you can put posts like we put outside your bus stop where your children wait for school, all over the world where people are waiting for the bus, so that terrorists will not have that opportunity to misuse vehicles. IDF is now seeking a buffer zone inside Lebanon. Northern Command Chief Gordon has called for the Israeli government to authorize a takeover of certain Lebanese territory to create a zone where Hezbollah can't operate and can't shoot missiles upon the Galilee like they've been doing all day today. Gordon noticed that conditions are favorable. Hezbollah actually withdrew a lot of its forces. The Rabban, you know, the one that's, that's designed to take over northern Israel cities. Uh, so they removed a lot of them from the border area, operate, allowing for us to operate swiftly with only 20% of local residents remaining in uh, southern Lebanon villages uh, during the ongoing missiles that are being shot oh, upon us. And we're retaliating. We're realizing that this might be the right time to really make them do what the UN told them to do back in 2006 when I fought the Lebanon 2006. Push them back. God says, Genesis 12, verse 3, I will bless those who bless you, Abraham, and I will curse those. I will obliterate those who curse you. And in you, Israel, all the families of the earth will be blessed.